Hello, love. Welcome to your Feeling Fridays Soul Support messages. These are messages for the highest and the greatest good of the Empath Collective and the Empath Journey here on Mama Gaia. Know that if this video has found you or you have found it, that there is something here for you. That is always the intention that I put into these messages. And if you are returning here, thank you so much for being here. This is going to be an interesting one. I'm working with the, I'm working with the energies of astrophilite here. This had come through as a crystal to work with in the Life Path 5 reading. I think it was the last one about integrating duality and integrating opposites, okay? Really focusing on and the other one I think was Rainbow Moonstone, okay? Where we have that dark black mineral in the moonstone, right? Contrasting the white and the black. Also connected here to the High Priestess, the energies of the High Priestess and her pillars in that card. I will be asking through Pamela's mini deck, but I'm going to hold this up as a visual. There is a specific message here about seeing into the mystery of duality. Seeing into the mystery of duality with this High Priestess energy coming through. The astrophilite crystal, the rainbow moonstone, now coming through. And this kind of yin yang energy, this contrasting black and white energy. Okay, I am going to put a card here for the, and I believe it was a Feeling Friday's message or a soul support message, where the symbol of the yin yang and the teachings of the yin yang right this ancient chinese it's really a piece of sacred geometry right but it's even it's god it's like it's a symbol it's a it's a sacred symbol in terms of understanding this integration of opposites is what i keep on hearing and seeing into the mystery of duality okay there is a lot of divine feminine energy that wants to come through for this because so much of, I'm getting the energies of Mama Iset coming through, the Sisterhood of the Rose, the Venusian Galactic Council as well, wanting to come through this. There is a huge emphasis here on the, again, the ongoing rebalancing that's taking place in the Divine Feminine, between the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. The fact that, again, they're reiterating to me, this energy of when you heal one aspect, you're inadvertently healing the other. Uh, Ralph Ray also coming through now, this representative of the Venetian Galactic Council to speak to that, especially in terms of his divine masculine energy and the integration of that and the healing. He kind of wants to give a barometer on that actually right now is what he's bringing through a barometer on the divine masculine healing that's taking place through the divine feminine. That's what this message is going to be all about. And so much of it comes back down to this integration of duality. So there's something in the divine feminine mysteries that is aiding the healing of the divine masculine is how he's showing it to me. I'm going to ask through the Rose Oracle first. And also asking through the Psychic Tarot, John Holland's Psychic Tarot, okay? That's what he's showing me. It's just, I keep on seeing, again, I'm being shown the Lemniscate. I'm being shown the Infinity Symbol. I'm just gonna, you know, we are in an eight year, which is really interesting. Because he's saying that one of the things that is going to be happening in this eight year is more integration of duality, more integration of opposites, more integration of healing, okay? And they will be checking in periodically with regard to this in terms of giving us a kind of, I'm seeing an Earth's eye view perspective on this. So it's happening collectively. Obviously, if you are someone who resonates with being awakened or awakening spiritually or doing spiritual work or energy work around this how it's reverberating out into the collective is significant 
Wow, I'm also seeing splits in timelines with that as well. He doesn't want to go too much into that. That's going to really get off into a whole other direction. But it's kind of like the way that we've come to understand the rhetoric, the talk he's showing me around the 3D, 5D split. That is a whole other message. And I can possibly address that. He's like, yep, you're going to do it. <laughs> in another message that will be separate from, I think the Feeling Fridays are the soul support. I need to make a note of that. Um, kind of deep, more deeply understanding the 3D, 5D and how that's spoken about. Um, just give me a second here. Yeah. Because this isn't an actual, again, we know like, okay, this is not a, this isn't a, like an actual physical reality, although it can be reflected in the physical reality. I'm gonna leave it at that because there's a lot there. So yeah, it's all connected. This also goes back to, I believe it was the last empath. No, was it the, yeah, it was the empath collective update one, which I will also link right here. I'll put it, I'll make a note of that. Um, the empath journey for 2024 where our healing journey the work that we're doing energetically is reverberating and what i was shown in that particular reading was the energy of it moving um basically between the hemispheres with the solstice energies and even though we might be doing different work in different capacities it is reverberating off of each other collectively. All right, let's make it right into this. Asking through the Rose Oracle first. This integration of duality and the messages that want to come through. Sub Rosa, hidden in plain sight. Mysteries, learning and teaching. The mysteries, he's saying specifically the divine mysteries that are hidden within plain sight and he's showing me a landscape of a field Mama Gaia and the setting or rising sun, depending on how you want to look at it, the cycles of time, the cycles of the seasons, the cycles of nature. This is a starting place in terms of integrating and understanding duality, okay? There's something in that symbol in the way that she's holding her hands there that I feel I want to read from the book for that. I'm curious if there's a soul inquiry. Yeah. What are you being called to study, learn more about, and unearth? So that could be a possible way to integrate these energies, okay? Um, a symbol of secrecy for millennia. The rose has been a symbol of secrecy for millennia. The ancient Romans wore rose garlands on special occasions. And when these were hung above important meeting places, the conversations that took place beneath were considered sub rosa or under the rose. Okay. It was understood that things said under the rose would be kept secret and not repeated. There's also an image of the ancient Egyptian god Horus sitting with a rose and holding his finger to his lips, symbolizing silence about the deep mysteries. There's a lot here, yep. The phrase sub rosa may have its origins in ancient Greece, where in 477 BCE, a secret negotiation took place in a building attached to the temple of Minerva, seen on this card. Now, Minerva is associated with the goddess Athena as well. So if you see and you look closely there, I can see that even there's images of the stele that she's depicted on, okay? On the building's roof was a rose garden, hence sub rosa. Another otherworldly theory of the phrase's origin is linked to Eros, who is said to have bribed Harpocrates, okay, the Greek god of silence and secrecy, with a rose to persuade him to remain silent on the affairs of the gods. This card represents the great mysteries that are available to us, for us, to uncover and remember. Secrets that are waiting to be found, teachings that your soul might be ready to learn. Look beyond your eyes and see what, look beyond what your eyes can see. 
and dig a little deeper. Are you being called to study the great mysteries? Okay. The sacred geometry of the rose. The mysteries of the feminine, the awakening of divine love, connection to the heart space is how all of these are coming through now. Now there's something in the secrecy of it in the sense that what Ralph Ray is showing me is that these things can almost be unspeakable because they are felt. They are also a vibration or a frequency that we tune into in a very inward way. Remember that divine feminine energy is very much about going within, hidden in plain sight. I'm also getting a double message here, very much connected to the empath journey collective 2024 update about mysteries hidden in plain sight and becoming very aware and discerning about some of the messages that are being conveyed in a subliminal way amongst the collective and how the empath journey this year in particular, especially in those middle months from what I remember, um, are gonna be very important. Something about those middle months again, May, June, July, August, okay? The second bloom, a second chance, it's never too late, new possibilities, the second bloom. He's saying, he's showing me that this is confirming the second part of the year. There's also an emphasis here on the two and the number of the divine feminine in the second bloom. This is again a rebirth of these divine feminine mysteries. Second bloom. The reunion, soul recognition, collaboration, partnership, friendship. This is a reunion of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And rose without thorns, you have a right to your joy, peace, sweetness of life. I'm feeling the energies of the dove, the Holy Spirit coming through with this. Peace, joy. Oof. You have a right to your joy. We have a right to peace. I'm hearing peace is the way. It's the way that we are inherently created and built. And so anything that is the antithesis to peace is disjointed. Anything that is the antithesis to coming from the heart and living in your truth and living in truth and love and compassion is disjointed. You know, I'm being reminded of this principle that the universe is constantly supporting us in succeeding, is constantly supporting us in love, it's constantly supporting us and trying to bring us back to this union within ourselves, to come back to the truth of ourselves, to come back to our own authentic selves, and to basically wants our success in that, okay? And that we are the ones that often get in our own ways in that respect, but it's, but why do we do that? And a lot of it has to do because it, it has to do with the fact that there's a very disjointed world that gets presented to us through the programming, through the indoctrination, okay? That middle period of the year is going to be huge with regard to that, to realizations around that, to healing around that, to further embodying even more of your sovereignty and your truth, okay? I'm asking now through the Psychic Tarot for messages supporting us in this, the Divine Feminine Mysteries, right? These Divine Feminine Mysteries that want to come through to support us in understanding more this duality. 
And what I'm hearing is even how to navigate, how to navigate the duality, because there's going to be a lot of divisiveness. There already is, right? Trying to present itself as truth. Patience and planning. I always see this card as a portal. Movement, choices, decision. So it's interesting is what Ralph Ray is showing me here is that this is the, both of these are in the physical. And he keeps on pointing back to the fact that more of what you focus on will be revealed to you in the physical. More of what you focus on will be revealed to you in the physical. We have to go deeper. That's how this seven is coming through here. It takes patience. It takes planning. It's part of the plan, though, is how he's showing it to me. It's in the decisions you make. It's in the moves you make. It's in the choices you make, okay, with this two of the physical. The seven and the nine together reducing to a nine. I'm, I'm getting even more into, like, the, the humanistic, altruistic energies of nine coming through here and more deeply understanding humanity in this way. A crow just went from left to right. Two of them now. Two. Three now. Sixteen, sixteen on the counter. Four. There's another one. There's something about seeing the magic in the reality around us for four of them to be passing by. The elements. Another one just swooped down in front of me. And they're coming back now. And they're sitting on the house right across from me. Two of them now in my sight. Three now. Okay, so thank you, Crow Spirit, coming through to, as a messenger, coming through now to, as a symbol of these mysteries, as a symbol of what is hidden. I'm actually seeing now a crow and an image of the rose together, and they're flying across now. They're leaving. They're going to the left. They're going into the direction of the divine feminine, right? Third eye chakra is at the bottom of the deck, okay? High priestess energy again. The mysteries within your perception, how you are seeing things. What are you also seeing? That's also in connection to the crow spirit coming through for this, okay? Understanding the deeper mysteries. Seeing the magic in the mundane. Coming back to magic. Now... I understand that that word for some of you may not resonate. When I say that, though, what I'm talking about is the magic of our existence, the energy, the frequency, the um, spirit in all things, the magic, alchemy, what you focus on. That's where your energy goes. Transmuting energies, right? All of it. And so much of this is connected to a deeper understanding that starts with going within, that starts with embracing this divine feminine energy. Also an emphasis here on the body, right, with these two physical cards coming out. Like I'm also seeing somatic work. I'm seeing work of the body, right, helping us to more deeply understand to go within the body. Yeah, the mysteries of the body. I'm seeing like, oh man, the body as a universe in and of itself. And I'm being shown that the heart is like our sun. There's also a rose there, and there's this sort of integration at the same time of the divine feminine and the divine masculine at the heart space, the bridge, the bridge, okay? That bridge, that meeting point right here, okay? And that came through, I believe it was in the empath, 2024 one as well, okay? Asking now through Pamela's genius, the mini writer, Reed Smith. This third eye chakra, I feel like there's also going to be, because that's the sixth card, it is the sixth chakra, right? So again, Venusian energy is coming through for this. 
Ralph Ray confirming that, right? This balancing point, beautiful. We've got the Queen of Cups coming out, with the Two of Cups, okay? They popped out exactly like this, like this on one on top of the other. This is synergy. This is going into divine feminine energies and practices and principles is what I'm hearing. I'm Ralph Ray is saying adopt a divine feminine practice. If that resonates with you, of course, right? Of your own free will, adopt a divine feminine practice. And he's showing me the yin yang again, right? Meditate upon that practice to come into this synergy. There's something about going into these divine feminine energies that immediately on a frequency level shifts the energy around us, the energy within us, the practice of it. He's actually showing me that that's what's hidden in plain sight. That's what sub rosa is. Feeling into it. This isn't about you got to read 10 books and know all these things and memorize all these texts. Oh my God. He's, he's saying to simply, to put it simply, it's about going into your heart space. It's about the practice of being in your heart. Cups. And doing this in a, in a, in a mundane way. Look at that. Divine intervention in the physical coming through. You're going to begin to see this in your physical reality. Okay? This Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I keep on coming back to this. This came through, I think, it could have been Soul Support or Feeling Fridays. I can't remember. Heart math, heart brain coherence. Okay? You know, with that Caduceus coming through as well. You know, Ida Pingala, you know, Kundalini energy, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, the merging, the integration of these energies within each and every one of us, all of that coming through for this. And how, because this is, these are, this is the minor arcana, right? These are the pips in tarot. This is an energy of how are you doing it daily? It's not this big, crazy Thank you, Spirit. 2222 uh, on the counter. Eight year, baby. All right? Lend this gate. This isn't, this isn't an energy. This isn't an energy of, oh my God, it's some big crazy thing that I need to do. It's not complicated is what Ralph Ray is showing me. It is not complicated. It is simply leading from the heart in your day to day. And he's, he's, being very, very clear here that leading from the heart, this is not coming from an emotional, an emotionally imbalanced place. That could be a whole other video and a whole other message that wants to come through. It's about being discerning from the heart. It's about balancing very healthy boundaries. It's about truth from the heart not this emotional place that place of peace that place of peace and true deep compassion for yourself okay i'm gonna end it there he's showing me the moon i'm seeing the energies we are going well I am recording this on, I'm recording it and posting it for Friday. It is a new moon. We, we like, that would have been yesterday, right? So at the time you're watching this, this new moon energy. He's also showing me an energy though of I'm seeing a crescent moon in a waning phase. So this could also be, again, a return to the energies of this because it's all divine feminine. It's the moon. He's saying to me, it's the moon. It's divine feminine energy again. Don't overcomplicate it, but it's a dark moon is what he's showing it to me. It's the energy of it, of it waning. So it's very much kind of like my top, <laughs> kind of like this top. Um, but that's a period of rest. That's a period of when we start to slow down. So it's another nod to going within. Okay. Okay. I'm going to end it there.
Thank you, Ralph Ray, for being here. The Venetian Galactic Council, the Sisterhood of the Rose. Thank you. Thank you to Mama Iset for being here for these messages. I thank you. Thank you to the Crow Spirit for coming through. Thank you for being here, sharing your time and your energy with me in this space. I'm sending you so much love wherever you are, in love and liberation, always. Mm -hmm.